Well, hello, Life Creators. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we may ask, why is there so much autism today? We may say, why does my child or my grandchild have autism? The teacher in me wants to always be able to control conditions. And we know that when we try to control conditions, we experience stress, we experience anguish, when we can't change something. There will always be frustrations or anger or sadness. When we can't control our lives and the lives of people around us to conform to the way we think they should be. There are conditions that we cannot control. We're told that we cannot control someone else's journey in this life. Their lives are their lives to create and to control. When a child has autism, we can't talk them out of it or demand it out of them. We can't question why this has happened. We can't be sad for them or for ourselves or for the family. No matter how we try, we can't change them. We can't change the way things are totally anyway. But the autistic child is free. The autistic child does not want to be controlled. So when we interact with them, we get the wonderful experience of not challenging them to fit into a certain system that's trying to change them. There is frustration to them when people try to change them. Their souls are yearning to be free and don't want to be controlled. It's why they show frustration and even outrage when we try to control them. When they scream because the landscapers making too much noise or the vacuum is too noisy, we can't yell at them and say, take your fingers out of your ears because they hear it loudly, but they feel free. They feel happy. They live in the moment. Society worries about them and tries to make them fit in to what they consider is the norm. But there is balance and value in the differences between all of us. Maybe these autistic children have come to this earth plane to teach us to be loving, to teach us to be patient, to teach us about acceptance, about waiting our turn, about joy, about love, and that we can't always order exactly what we want, but something more beautiful may be coming to us. And that we cannot always control things. Things are not all in our hands to control. Autistic children bring out in us our slowing down and looking at the beauty of life. Our teaching them, our ability to teach the autistic child brings out in us having patience to allow them to develop. It brings out our ability to take the time to explain things and time to allow them to develop. They teach us to live in the moment and to appreciate the now. They allow us to learn what unconditional love actually is. They show us their joys in simple things like singing happy birthday, even when it isn't your birthday, blowing out candles and clapping when it isn't your birthday. They teach us to dance joyfully in front of a mirror with a microphone and belting out a tune. They show us the thrill of running in the grass in the park, picking flowers, putting the buds in the palm of their hand and blowing them and making a wish blowing the dandelion heads around and making a wish. They teach us to take the time to sit down under the weeping willow tree and enjoy the view as you look up and you see the branches blowing in the wind. They enjoy doing yoga in the grass and they don't care who is looking and how silly we may look. They ask us to pause and rub their arm. They look us in the eyes and they ask us to talk about our day. 
And that's a wonderful thing to do, to run the tapes over and talk about your day and maybe rewrite certain scenes and make them the way you wish they would have been. They love to visit houses. They love to visit people. And it brings out the best in people who are always happy to receive them. And they see family members and simply adore looking at all the videos of all the celebrations and all the people in the family over and over and over and relive special moments. Most of us miss precious moments because we are always busy looking elsewhere. They squeal with joy at making popcorn in the popper. They love playing hide and seek their way. It's such a thrill when you know somebody's gonna find you or you have to find somebody. They love sitting on the couch and eating pretzels and watching Coco Melon or whatever their favorite show is. They love jumping on the trampoline and squealing with joy. They have come here to teach us unconditional love. Most people talk about unconditional love, but they don't live it. They want us to love others only if they would just be more like we want them to be. But these children, they love life. And if we will leave them in peace and let them just enjoy their life, instead of trying to mold them in a certain way all the time. We guide them gently. We want them to learn everything and they will, they will. We want them to change in the direction we want so that we can feel better. But unconditional love says that we will look at everything through the eyes of God or through the eyes of your source or your inner being or whatever, through the true eyes of your soul. That's what unconditional love is which means that we do not need for people to be different so we can feel better. We have the ability to adjust our gaze and the way we look at them, to align ourselves and balance ourselves the way God would look at these beautiful beings and love them as they are, perfect as they were born to be. Unconditional love says, I'm going to find connection with my soul, with my inner being, and then I'm going to look at you through the eyes of love. Conditional love says, I will ask you to be what I need you to be so I'll feel better. I was listening to one of the tapes by Abraham Hicks. Abraham said, when we feel unconditional love, we feel absolute freedom. When we feel conditional love, we feel absolute bondage. So these blessed beings have come forth as teachers of freedom for us. And they feel free even when we try to control them. See, the autistic child isn't worried about anything. It's the people around them who try to get them to conform to our view of what normalcy is. And then it puts us into a terrible state of anxiety. But they're just trying to be free. The child doesn't see what the problem is all the time. We, we the pro we're the problem. The child's, child's trying to tell us we have to get over it. Relax. It's fine. Everything is fine. And I try to teach my granddaughter, all is well, all is fine. You don't need to cry. You don't need to get upset. Everything is fine. Grandma always comes back. Grandpa always comes back. You don't need to worry. They are who they are born to be. And we can just love them, teach them, enjoy them, give them the best example and set our gaze to view them as the beautiful souls that they really are. When we interact with them, we discover unconditional love. And then we'll be free just like they feel and just like they are. And then maybe so many souls wouldn't have to come into this earth autistically to teach us what love is, which is the greatest power. They're having a good time. Let's watch them. Let's enjoy them. Let's get up close with them and feel the joy of their being and tell them you don't need to change anything about you because you're perfect just the way you are. And I love you. If you have found value in this video, please press the like button, subscribe, follow with me, join me, follow for more and answer this question in the comments below. Do you have an autistic child in your life? Can you share your journey and what you have learned? 
Can you share your perspective? I will see you in the next video.